This is part one of the 8.2 video notes. It is broken up into three parts. So how this is going to work is that we're going to do part one, then you're going to do one task, and then part two for video notes, and then another task, and then part three. Um, I wouldn't say it's any extra of video notes. It's just broken up a little bit so that it pertains more to the task that you're going to do that goes with it. So let's get started. This is video notes part one. Make sure that you have the guided notes page from the supply shelf before we get started. Um, okay, video notes part one for 8.2, an expression. We did define what an expression is. An expression is numbers. Oh, my pen is not turned on. There we go. Okay, an expression is numbers. variables and operations um, and with an expression there are no equal sign So really all I care about when we're talking about an expression is not necessarily what it equals, just what it is. So an expression is just the numbers and the variables and the operations without the equal sign. So you can think of this as, yes, when you are expressing something, right? You're expressing it just how it is, maybe not what it means, but you're just expressing something. Um, and so this is what this is mathematically too, is just numbers, variables, and operations with no equal sign. A term is a part of an operation or of an expression, excuse me, expression that is added or subtracted. Okay, so a term is part of an expression that is added or subtracted. So anytime you have an addition sign or a subtraction sign, they separate the terms. So in order to kind of understand this a little bit better, let's look at some, uh, we're going to do some examples here. We're going to circle all the terms in each expression here. So for our first expression, we have 12 plus 7 minus 9. Well, if a term is part of an expression that is added or subtracted, we can see we have an addition sign right here and a subtraction sign right here. And so those are going to separate our terms because it's either added or subtracted. So our terms are going to be our 12, 7, and 9 because the 12, 7, and 9 are all separated by an addition sign and a subtraction sign. For the second one, we have 5 times 3 plus 2. And so we have an addition sign right here. And so that means that that separates two terms. But this multiplication sign actually does not separate the 5 and the 3 because terms are only separated by an addition sign or a subtraction sign. And so um, these two numbers are actually part of the same term because they aren't being added or subtracted. So in this expression, we have two terms. Even though we have three numbers, we still only have two terms. All right, now for the third one, we have a subtraction sign right there. And our subtraction sign, like I said, separates the terms. And so our subtraction sign separates this six from the rest. And we also have this area right here, which just like the one before, has a multiplication sign in between the four and the two. And so that means that it is part of the same term because terms are only separated by a subtraction sign or an addition sign. Um, 